Right now at noon, evacuations are still underway in Rockton, Illinois, following a chemical plant fire. And President Biden meets face to face with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Geneva with why the stakes are high but expectations low. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday afternoon. Officials in Illinois will give us an update on the fire at a chemical plant in Rockton, Illinois in about an hour. Right now, the fire is continuing to burn and evacuations are still underway. Please be patient, uh, be vigilant. We are doing everything we can to get you back into your homes. Along with evacuations in the one mile radius of the fire, a mask order is still in effect for those who are three miles within the fire. Officials do say that the fire is contained, but there could be some flare ups at the site and do expect it to continue to burn for possibly five more days. In about an hour, officials will be giving you another update on the chemical plant fire. You can watch the news conference on our website, channel3000.com or on our Facebook page. We'll continue to have more from the scene today on Live at 4 as well as News 3 now at 5 and 6. There's an alert day in the forecast for severe weather tomorrow. When and where could the storms hit? Austin has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. We need the rain. Yeah, we definitely need that rainfall, but not quite the severe storms. Hopefully we don't see all the rain that we need in one or two spots and in within just a few hours. We really need a nice long drawn out day or two of rain showers. And we're likely not going to see that here for tomorrow as well. Current conditions right now, lots of blue skies overhead, 74 degrees in the Madison area. It feels really really great to actually be outside. Again, today we're not worried about any severe risk. Today we're really not worried about anything. Wind speeds just around five miles per hour or less. Platteville up to seven and Camp Douglas right around six miles per hour. Temperatures already comfortable. We're only topping out in the lower 80s and upper 70s later on here for today. So Janesville at 79. They're already close to seeing their warmest temperatures that we're going to see here later on this afternoon. Dew points also remaining very low. Notice the lower 40s. So it's not muggy outside either. The humidity Humidity is just not here today, and we're also not seeing any rain showers staying dry here for our Wednesday. Again, the showers and storms look to uh, come back to the area tomorrow, especially late in the day. This evening planner for tomorrow likely going to include shower and storm chances. But what are the main threats and what time are we expecting those to move through? I will have another update and a look at your extended forecast coming up momentarily. All right, we'll see you then. Thank Austin. Thank you, Austin. Eight people are receiving help from the Red Cross following a fire at a tree lane apartment in Madison overnight. It happened around 10 o'clock in the 7900 block of Tree Lane. Crews saw smoke coming from one of the apartments. A sprinkler system prevented the fire from causing major damage. Officials say the fire damaged two apartments and caused about $25,000 in damage. Two families, including five children, were displaced and the Red Cross is helping them with temporary housing. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. And Madison firefighters saved two University Avenue businesses from burning down overnight after employees spotted smoke and flames coming from a neighboring restaurant. An employee at Wings Over Madison called 911 to report that neighboring Qdoba was full of smoke, but the restaurant was closed. A couple minutes later, the Wings Over Madison employee reported seeing flames inside Qdoba, and that's in the 2700 block of University Avenue. The fire was quickly knocked down, but the extent of the damage is unclear. No one was injured. Federal investigators are now working to determine what caused a train to derail early this morning in Merrill. WSAW-TV in Wausau says the derailment happened below the County Highway K Bridge over the Wisconsin River near South Park Street and River Street around 1.30 this morning. Officials say two locomotives derailed there on their side and two lumber cars derailed but are still upright. There are no injuries. The train was not hauling hazardous or dangerous materials. A face-to-face -face meeting between President Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin has just ended in Geneva, Switzerland. The two leaders sat down at a time when relations between the two countries are at a low point. Natalie Brand reports from the White House. President Biden shook hands with President Vladimir Putin outside a villa in Geneva ahead of a high-stakes summit at a critical time for U.S.-Russia relations. I think it's always been Inside, the two leaders sat across from each other during a chaotic photo op. 
For his part, Putin expressed hope the closed-door talks would be productive. The first part of the meeting included Secretary of State Antony Blinken and his Russian counterpart. Additional aides joined the second part. Among the topics on the table, nuclear arms control, Russian interference in U.S. elections, and cyber attacks. Russian-based hackers are blamed for two recent crippling cyber attacks targeting American businesses. The White House is not setting high expectations, but President Biden has said he will lay out red lines, making clear which Russian activities would be met with a strong response. If that message is conveyed clearly, experts tell me, then you would see slowly, not too fast, but slowly the Russians start to change some of their behavior in small ways. Following the summit, President Biden and Putin plan separate news conferences instead of a joint one. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. And President Biden was asked about why he chose to hold a solo press conference, and he said it's not a contest on who can hold a better press conference and embarrass each other. A new rain garden in Madison is being dedicated to a local man who made it his priority to educate those about the benefits of rain gardens. Roger Bannerman worked for the Wisconsin DNR for 40 years. During his career, he worked to inform people about urban stormwater quality and the effectiveness of stormwater practices, including street cleaning and wet detention ponds. This past October, Roger passed away. Now the city of Madison's engineering division is dedicating a new rain garden to Roger. His wife Jane says that he loved teaching people people about the benefits of rain gardens. I really appreciate this effort to to uh, dedicate this to Roger because I think he would he loves these kinds of projects. He loves things that educate people in about groundwater, about stormwater, about cl get, having clean water. The Roger Bannerman Rain Garden is located at the corner of Fox Avenue and Sheldon Street next to the Southwest Commuter Path. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. A life-saving COVID-19 treatment shows promise and dropping the dollars on dead this year. I'm Diane King-Hall at the New York Stock Exchange. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. Wouldn't it be nice to not have to deal with your messy gutters anymore? Leave that nasty chore in the rear view mirror with a new Leaf Guard gutter system. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how Leaf Guard's patented design keeps leaves and debris out so you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. And now is the best time to get Leaf Guard. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. In fact, most men don't realize that 90% of erectile dysfunction is a direct result of broken down old blood vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow that is critical when achieving an erection. With our state-of-the-art technology, we're able to stimulate new stem cell growth right in our office with no pills, no needles, no surgery, and no pain. To book your consultation and get back to natural functionability, call Peak Performance for Men today. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. I am an owner. I am an owner. I am an owner. I'm an owner. Since 1934, Steinhoffels has been proud to be a local, family-owned company. And we're excited to share that Steinhoffels is now an employee-owned company. To celebrate, we're having a sale. Right now, take 35 to 50% off the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses. So come celebrate and save only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. <laughs> no more Freon for your AC. Oh, no, the homeowner's called Action Man and his action Team. Call on Action Plumbing, Heating, and Electric at IWantActionNow.com. There's breakfast, there's lunch, there's dinner, and then there are McCafe's Bakery Sweets, which are whatever you want them to be. Get a Bakery Sweet, plus any size hot or iced coffee or soft drink for just $3. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Whether you have
have a design emergency or you just want to shop the best furniture showroom in town, you need Dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom. Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. saving coronavirus treatment. A large British study released today found that Regeneron's antibody cocktail reduces the risk of death when given to some patients with severe COVID-19. Regeneron's therapy has already been granted emergency use status in the U.S., but the results underscore its efficacy. Service is back to normal for Southwest Airlines today. About half of its flights were canceled or delayed yesterday, leaving thousands of travelers temporarily stranded. The airliner says it experienced two technical glitches in a 24-hour period. Southwest says the problem has since been fixed. Consumers are expected to spend more than $20 billion on Father's Day. That's about $3 billion more than last year and would be a record high, according to the National Retail Federation. The simple card still reigns supreme. 59% said they'll toast dad via the written word. Nearly half of those celebrating will spend more money on outings, clothing, and electronics this year. And there's still time to master the grill for summer. Reynolds is looking for one rookie to learn the art of the barbecue. The payout, $10,000. Newbie grillers can apply for the gig by sending Reynolds your best grill fail photo. Future grill masters have until Friday to apply. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall. Thank you, Diane. A popular brand of baby food was recalled last week because of high levels of arsenic, and a consumer advocacy group is urging parents not to use rice cereal at all. Last week, Beechnut recalled one lot of rice cereals after finding that it exceeded the FDA's arsenic limits. No other Beechnut products are affected by this recall, and no illnesses related to these product codes were reported. But the company also announced it'll stop selling baby rice cereal altogether. Arsenic is a really common contaminant in soil. It's everywhere, but rice happens to be particularly effective at picking it up from the soil and absorbing it. And so infant rice cereal has higher levels of arsenic than almost any baby food on the market. The FDA first proposed the limit on arsenic in infant rice cereals back in 2016 when studies found nearly half of infant rice cereals sampled from retail stores in 2014 contained 100 parts per billion of arsenic or more. Even low levels of arsenic can harm a baby's developing brain. Millions of investors have jumped into cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, and scam artists are trying to capitalize on all the buzz. Christopher Leach with the Federal Trade Commission says Americans have lost more than $80 million in cryptocurrency investment scams between October and March, a 1,000% increase from the previous year. There are several different scams out there, including one where con artists place fake ads online promising to triple your investment but it requires you to give them your cryptocurrency. Often what happens is that, poof, the uh, cryptocurrency is gone when you try and remove it from the, from the investment fund. Scammers also send emails posing as celebrities, including well-known crypto investor Elon Musk. A new study found some makeup may contain potentially toxic chemicals. Researchers looked at 231 makeup products sold in the U.S. and Canada. They found high levels of PFAS in 52% of them. Scientists for the Environmental Working Group identified 13 different PFAS chemicals in more than 600 products from 80 brands. PFAS have been linked to cancer, thyroid disease, liver damage, decreased fertility, and hormone disruption. The highest levels of PFAS markers were found in foundations, waterproof mascara, and long-lasting lipsticks. A warm and sunny Wednesday, but that will change tomorrow. We have an alert day in the forecast for tomorrow and severe weather possibility. Austin will tell us what we can expect ahead in your first warm forecast. What's my favorite part about my French door fridge and furniture and appliance mart? One word, drama. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? 
commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Meineke is here to help you beat the heat. Your air conditioning could be blowing hot air or no air at all. Let Meineke test or repair your AC system to keep you cool. Book your appointment today. Meineke Car Care, doing car care right. The best of the best store-wide sale of the summer is on now at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 50% off in-stock furniture door busters. Then you choose between our two best bonus deals of the entire year. Only at Ashley Home Store. Want to know what the day's weather will be like where you live? Well, that's easy. Just ask me. Here's how. Record a short video on your phone. State your name, where you're from, and simply say, I'm Sam from Madison. Hey, Chris, plan my day. Then send it to me by email, and I'll give you a personal forecast right here on News 3 Now This Morning. This is your chance to be on TV. So just send me a video and say, Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, hey Chris. Plan our day. Plan your day with Chris. Only on News 3 Now This Morning. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. This is News 3 Now at Noon. And let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Hi, Pam. Hi there, Mark. The, we're keeping an eye on the sky. I'm sure that uh, we're all curious to hear what the weather forecast is for the next 48 hours. But really, we're looking farther out to the weekend. Markets today are mixed in Chicago. We're starting to see the corn market gain back some of the ground that we lost earlier this week. Why? Because now traders are starting to question the forecast map that promised to bring rains to the upper Midwest. I'm already getting reports from farm broadcasters and farmers that are worried that their corn crop, even as close as western Wisconsin, if it it doesn't see rain by this weekend it may in fact be done and in wisconsin we don't get a chance uh, to replant generally this late into the month of june you can understand the angst and concern in states like iowa illinois even into nebraska and south dakota where uh, they're just begging for rain to try to keep their crops moving forward so that's part of the reason why we're seeing our corn market go up just a little bit on the midday not so much with soybeans soybeans are a lot more forgiving and have a lot more opportunity as far as continuing to grow uh, despite the need for rain basically all across the state. We've got some good news that's coming uh, before the end of the week, as a matter of fact. I talked this morning with Dean Mark Markell, the Dean of the College of uh, Veterinary Medicine on the UW-Madison campus. Uh, this week, they're going to break ground on the big addition for the UW-Madison Vet School, as well as their adjacent hospital. Now, it's going to be a couple years before it's actually finished, but uh, Dr. Markell was telling me about the fantastic new innovations that it's going to be bringing, not just for Wisconsin, but for veterinary medicine period i did not realize that there are only 53 veterinary schools in the entire world uh uw madison one of the elite so good to see that that improvement is going to be getting underway starting later this week and judging by the weather doesn't look like they're gonna have any problem with that groundbreaking ceremony on friday all right pam thank you Speaking of the weather, it's time for that Austin alert day in the forecast for tomorrow. That is right, and Pam was also correct that Friday is looking like an excellent day here by the time we reach the afternoon. But Thursday, we got to get through Thursday first. Now that is where we have put our alert day in. Not for today because you see the bright blue sunny skies outside. It looks pretty good. It feels pretty good out there. Doppler tracks staying clear of any showers, and we're also barely seeing any cloud cover as of right now. What we're watching out for, however, that's tomorrow. We do have have a slight risk for severe weather pretty much encompassing our entire viewing area as of right now. This could change, but it's looking uh, like it's actually pretty solid 
compared to where we're seeing our models lining up with the showers and storms that we're expecting. So again, that alert day in effect tomorrow, especially in the evening and overnight hours. Strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. Our main threats are going to be high winds, large hail and heavy rain as well. We can't rule out an isolated tornado, but as of right now, it's less than 2% of a chance here for most of us. Future track is going to show a gorgeous rest of our day today. By the time we reach tomorrow, not a bad start. We're going to be off to a little bit of a warmer start. You're going to notice high heat tomorrow. You're going to notice the humidity rising as well here, especially towards the end of the day. Look at that upper 80s and low 90s expected here towards the end of the day tomorrow. And then that's all ahead of the showers and storms that we are expecting. Look up to our northwest. We're starting to see those showers and storms building and then they move through the area generally late in the day and in the early nighttime hours is when we are expecting this. But look at this. It's even producing some red on this future track model. That is pretty rare as of right now. So we're going to continue to watch out for this. That is not a good sign. That means that there's a pretty good chance that we are going to see a strong to severe storm, at least for one or two areas. But then it does look like our future track does clear things out. Generally, by the time we reach the early morning hours on Friday, there is a potential to see another shower or so lingering. But by the afternoon, mostly sunny skies will take over. Now our drought monitor still shows that we're in a moderate drought phase. This is updating later on here this afternoon, so I'm excited to see what the update is. I have a feeling that that severe area down towards Milwaukee is actually going to expand, unfortunately. But let's talk about some good news. Wind speeds only around five miles per hour or less here for today for the most part, so winds are not going to be a problem. Temperatures much of the same, topping out a little bit later on in the upper 70s and low 80s. And with low humidity, it's going to feel very comfortable outside. These dew points last week were in the 60s and 70s. As of right now, 42 degrees for that dew point. It feels very nice to be outside. If you want even cooler conditions, our 6 to 10 day temperature outlook does show the signs of a cool down. You take a peek here at our temperatures over the next 10 days, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, all expected to be in the 70s as of right now. The normal high temperature is 79 degrees and that does continue to rise. So by the time you reach Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, those temperatures are actually going to be a little bit below average. And it's been quite some time since I've been able to say below average temperatures. So that's something to look forward to because in the summertime, below average temperatures, equates to fantastic days. This afternoon, we do have a high of 81 degrees. It will be mostly sunny. It will be warm, but with low humidity and light wind speeds, again, today is definitely going to feel great. By the time you reach tomorrow, a little breezier. We do have that alert day as well for the end of our Thursday. During the day, you're going to notice that breeze. You're also going to notice the high heat. Again, a high temperature of 91 degrees. Temperatures will stay pretty hot on our Friday as well with that chance of a morning shower here and there. Most of these showers are going to come through after sunset on Thursday. So do keep that in mind. That's whenever we have that severe potential as well. And then come Saturday and Sunday, a beautiful weekend overall, but it does look like Sunday late in the day. Scattered showers and storms do look to develop with that high of 81. That's going to help to cool us down for the following week and those cooler temperatures, especially on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's going to feel pretty nice outside with the lower humidity values. Still sunshine late in the day on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, much of the same. But then we do bring back some of those rain chances here towards the end of this 10-day forecast. Looking forward to cooler weather and some rain. Yeah, me too. All right. Thank you, Austin. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. I'm next. We'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. When it comes to baking, you don't need a thousand recipes. Just a few really good basic ones. Like the one we're making today. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. With Herzing University's Everywhere Classroom, you can earn a degree in today's hottest fields online. For a limited time, we'll waive your enrollment fee. See what your career can turn into. I'm possible at Herzing. Call or click today. The time is right to do something nice for your home. Why not replace your gutters with LeafGuard, the only gutter system that has earned the good housekeeping seal of approval. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. LeafGuard's patented one-piece seamless design keeps leaves and debris out, which means no more clogs. Guaranteed. LeafGuard carries a lifetime warranty, so your home's foundation will be protected forever, and our customers couldn't be happier. They're the best. I don't have to worry about the, the gutters getting clogged up with the seeds, the branches, the, the dirt, the, the roof sheddings. 
and it's just one less worry for me. And right now, save big on your new LeafGuard brand gutter system and get some incredible extras. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, get free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. What do you think? I love it. To the thousands of Herzing University nursing and healthcare alumni, for your tireless commitment, and to all of your brave colleagues across America, we say thank you. I'm possible at Herzing. You know, one thing that I was taught early on is you don't need a thousand different recipes when it comes to baking. Rather, have a few really good basic ones and make variations of those. I can't think of a better example of this than the buttery rich coffee cake that we're gonna be making today. The key is to start by creaming some softened butter and sugar until it's fluffy. You don't wanna rush this part. To that, we beat in some eggs, vanilla, baking powder and baking soda, and a bit of salt. Now, we slowly add some flour, alternated with milk, until the batter comes together. This is our basic coffee cake batter that's worth its weight in gold. After pouring half the batter into a baking pan, we sprinkle it with a combo of chocolate chips, walnuts, brown sugar, and some cinnamon. The remaining batter goes on top before we finish it with the rest of our to die for filling. Then, we pop it in the oven. Pour yourself a cup of coffee, then sit back and enjoy the best basic coffee cake you've ever had. And I call it basic since you can easily change the filling by adding some dry fruit, a different variety of nuts, and on and on. To get the recipe for our Back to Basics coffee cake, all you have to do is visit our website. This recipe is a must-have. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a Back to Basics way for you to say Ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. The long-standing coal plant in Florida came down in a controlled implosion this morning. The facility built in 1995 was Florida Power & Light's last coal plant. 171 pounds of explosives were used to implode the building. The 495-foot chimney stack took only seconds to crumble. The rest of the plant, including the boiler and ash silo, will be removed later this year. The company plans to replace old oil burning plants with natural gas plants and could one day add solar power to the mix. Solar power makes sense for Florida, doesn't it? It does. You know, I just love a good demolition video. <laughs> There's something about it. There it's, is. It's so satisfying to watch, but it's so satisfying to be outside today with the temperatures and just overall forecast that we have. 81 degrees here for today, mostly sunny, warm, but not nearly as hot as what we have seen. The humidity also stays low. Wind speeds staying low as well here over the next 12 hours or so. Not really too much to worry about. Tomorrow, however, showers and storms late in the day, generally after sunset. Some could be strong to severe. All right, also, we'll keep an eye on that. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. Have a great afternoon.